Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. On Capitol Hill this week, the Congressional Black Caucus held a hearing called Out of Work But Not Out of Hope. The focus was on all unemployed, but it was the chronically unemployed issue that held the spotlight. When we decided to uh, invade Iraq, uh, we immediately found the money to do it when we decided to invade Afghanistan. Uh, we found money for it. We needed to do the surge. We found money for it. Uh, everything that we seem to really want to do, we can find money for it. But when we began to talk about jobs, uh, all of a sudden we run into people talking about offsets. That seemed to be the general consensus by members of the Congressional Black Caucus during this week's public hearing on jobs, and more specifically, the chronically unemployed. Are those men, women, and young adults who have given up after a frustrating and ultimately an unobtainable job search? We need action. We need it right now. Our people are hurting. And Panelist members agreed with the caucus and the machinist's way of thinking. It's now or never to address this problem. If you help the chronically unemployed, that means that everybody will then be working, paying taxes, and being able to take care of their families and have the hope that all of us uh, would like every American to have. Thank because these experts, like the congressional members themselves, are in the field and hearing firsthand these stories of hardship. Christina writes, uh, I have been unemployed for 15 plus months. Uh, and have been recognized as being in the chronically unemployed group. I'm 45 plus, I'm a black woman, and I'm at a critical juncture in my career because retirement is looming in my face. This is from Larry who writes, it is very difficult to make it in this day and age. I have a master's degree. I lost my six-figure job a few years back. It is very difficult for older workers to get a job. The stories put a face to the problem and have many experts backing the idea of direct job creation. Most here support Congressman George Miller's recent Jobs for America Act, which promises to save or create at least one million jobs. The important thing is that we need a job surge. Civil rights activist Reverend Jesse Jackson agrees, but hopes Congress can take it a step further by making sure job and contract discrimination is not allowed to happen and that green job funds find their way into every American city. And I would urge us to take a new look uh, at stimulus part two, uh, economic recovery bottom up. We bail out the banks in, in the name of emergency, but not linked to bailing out the most needed people. Solutions range from creating more youth summer jobs to an increase in vocational and apprenticeship programs. Many CBC members were concerned to hear that there's at least a 42% unemployment rate among young men and women looking for summer work. For more, you can log on to goiam.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.